Hey, welcome to my radio channel, and this is a review of a Texan Texan PL310 receiver. So this is an interesting little radio. It's uh, not too expensive. It's in the uh, fifty dollar range or something like that, if I remember well. It is a digital PLS synthesized receiver with digital signal processing capabilities so DSP DSP is coming up slowly but surely in radios uh, at first they were on really expensive amateur radio equipment but slowly with the advance of the electronics and the fact that the prices are going down on electronics you've got these nice little radios coming up not too expensive that have little DSP chips that actually do a little bit of job and on this radio I must say the DSP chip is well utilized so it adds a nice feature to this radio so the Texan PL310 is a short wave medium wave FM and long wave radio and it is a little flexible in its way of actually doing things because what's different compared to all the other radios is that the signal and the processing of all of the signal is in partly it's in part of it is done by a chip a little electronic chip that actually lets you have a few more options that you would not have on most radios and so with uh, for example the selectivity it lets you have a great selectivity from 1 kilohertz to 6 kilohertz wide so it's really nice because in a crowded area you know for good audio you want the 6 kilohertz most of the time but for a, a crowded area on the band where stations are really close you can actually put it in a 4 kilohertz mode it does lower slightly the quality of the audio but it does improve a lot the reception of the station because it will cut out close nearby stations are trying to interfere uh, it's a PLL electronic synthesized radio so it's very stable it has the frequency input here with the little keypad so it's really nice it's got some memories to store of course your favorite stations uh, it's got a great display here that you can see display has um, frequency but also what's cute is that the display can show you either the time so you'll have the clock at the same time as the frequency it can display the temperature and that's really unusual for a radio it actually has a little sensor for the temperature and so it will tell you what temperature is in your home for example or where you are and it tells you the signal level what's weird about this radio on the signal level instead of having like this little bar going up and down giving you a general idea of how the signal is graphically it's actually numbers it's a uh, signal to noise ratio so you see these numbers actually flashing in front of you but for most people you look at these numbers and just have no idea what they mean so it's interesting that they put the signal level in a signal to noise radio ratio which is very original yet I think just a nice little graphical bar you know with little segments showing you the overall signal I think is of better use to most people because people understand what it means but hey that's the way this one is done and probably it's because of the uh, digital signal processing chip that probably sends out this information by itself so it's it was used like that so it's pretty uh, special but you alternate on the different display so uh, you can actually display the uh, clock the temperature you can see here it's 22 degrees the signal to noise ratio and the clock so depending on what you are listening to uh, it's interesting now you've got all these little buttons so you got a keypad here the up down here the band switch are here 
you've got the on off switch at the top you've got the display that you change what you want to display on your uh, either temperature or single to noise ratio or simply a clock then you have uh, these little buttons here that will actually give you a bandwidth switch and also depending on what you want so you got here the band switch of the memories you've got the uh, signal to noise here here is the switch for the bandwidth you can see here 6 kilohertz 4 kilohertz 3, 2 and 1 kilohertz bandwidth available so it's very flexible it's quite a nice little add-on and this is all done electronically most radios have what we call filters uh, very often they're ceramic filters that actually uh, you know give a certain bandwidth in the electronic circuit and these filters need to be most of the time of good quality to really do the job well and what's nice about the Texan PL310 is that this is done electronically so you don't have filters in here you actually have electronic filters so it's pretty amazing for that on the left side you've got your volume control and your tuning knob right here and volume on the back little hinge here to put your radio at an angle little telescopic antenna batteries using three AA batteries which are included in the radio and rechargeable 1000 milliamp you've got up here the antenna input you've got your earphone jack stereo through the earphone on FM that's cool and this is nice last nice little add-on you can actually plug it on your computer if you want and recharge the internal batteries via your computer so um, I have actually used that function a few times I find it really interesting overall performance uh, it's a good receiver it's very sensitive on short wave and it's quite sensitive also on the medium wave band FM is not bad not as good as some radios that I have but it's pretty good you'll see the test and I'll have test videos of it anyway but overall performance is uh, quite interesting and the little add-on the little filter add-ons pretty nice because it gives you a possibility of you know improving the signals now one drawback of the usage of the DSP filter is the way that the signal is handled into the receiver and the way it is handled is kind of a little strange so you have this feeling of a weird I would say the handling is not as smooth you know an analog radio in its uh, or digital radio but that uses you know regular listening um, a regular type of electronic circuit what it does is that when your signal feeds in and out it's smooth you know slowly goes away slowly comes back like a wave in the ocean you know this radio because the signal is handled electronically in a chip when the signal fades out you actually hear steps it's like it's going from good to medium to bad to medium to good it doesn't have there's like missing steps in the way it's handling it so it's probably because of the way that you know the chip handles the signal and the fact that this chip being a inexpensive chip it's not like a real DSP and very expensive radios where it can handle and actually do all the, the electronic uh, gymnastic needed to do that so it sometimes makes listening a little awkward I must say uh, the uh, little drawback is the audio on this radio is good but not as good as on other portables so that's another little feature that's a little annoying because what happens is that even though you hear the stations because the audio is not as good as it could be and it's not because of the size of the speaker because I've seen other receivers with tiny speakers like this one and uh, that just handles better uh, so and it could be due uh, due to the uh, DSP chip also because you know the way everything is handled this DSP chip is basically the major part of this receiver it's uh, it's 
basically a radio receiver in a chip with electronic uh, functionality so uh, I must say that this probably is one of the reasons maybe why the sound is not as good as it could be also the way it's handled and the way that everything is done so these are the little drawbacks I would say of this receiver yet it's a nice little receiver um, if you have fifty dollars to spend I would personally not necessarily tell you to buy this one I would probably tell you to buy um, if you're looking for a radio that's good and that's in the same range 50 60 bucks I would say look at the Texan PL 450 which is a uh, very very good radio for its price uh, I would say the best radio in a sub $100 is the PL 450 and you'll uh, look at my channel you'll see a review of it uh, it's an amazing radio um, I think it's a good step ahead to see that they are using DSP and adding this digital signal processing capability slowly to receivers. I think it's pretty cool, but I think it still needs to you know, be worked out to have better reuse of this technology. But I think it's a good step ahead and this receiver shows that with a good DSP chip, I think that the future will probably go through that phase. We will surely see in the coming years a shortwave radios that actually handle almost everything through a digital signal processing chip, which will, if used well, I think improve reception of uh, our stations. Uh, all we need to hope for is that. Uh, most stations still stay on the air. So this was a little review of the Texan PL310 shortwave radio, portable shortwave radio with DSP, digital signal processing. If you enjoyed these uh, videos, click on the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed of the videos we put online. If you have any comments or questions on this radio or any other video online, hey, don't hesitate and don't be afraid can ask any question I'll try to answer it the best I can and I'll be happy to answer any questions so thanks for watching 73s